So, but I'd be curious to see. So it's interesting. It'd be interesting to see what what one, what these guys will do when the other one has the lead. Yeah. And also how they're going to get their kills. Right off the bat, you know, we're just gonna start off with this neutral, and like you said, they're wow. I'm actually kind of shocked by Mr. Chef. He's playing super. Oh my god. That is not. That is. Wow. 15 seconds in, a, bro. Is this a 15 button? seconds in. Was this a button warmer? It's not, dude. Oh Leo, my god. That is so unfortunate. You, you know, like he's feeling it. Look at, it, I can see it in his face. Leo's a very emotional, passionate player when oh, he plays yeah. this game, and you know that's gonna affect his gameplay yeah. throughout the game. He needs he's to just. just he needs yeah. to just take a breath and realize that two stocks exist in this game, and you know. And he, he also plays. has another. He has another game to possibly work exactly. with. It, even if I feel like at, when you're but when they, you get down that much at, at like at the start of a game, it's just figure out your opponent's habits. You know, try and learn as much as you can about your opponent. Don't worry about winning. Just worry about you know figuring out. Okay, this is what they do when they're in a disadvantageous position, and use that information against them. Yeah, but now we see Mr. Chef is kind of blowing him up. <laughs> Here, he's, he's sitting at 93%. He's only taking 14. Very convincing. Even that SD aside. Yeah, like he, this first stock is going amazing for him. Oh, he's just a now. good planting of the gyro. Oh, oh wow. That reads him. Not going to quite do it. He doesn't have a jump, though. He knew that he was going to approach right there, did a pivot F smash, sending him to the abyss. Now we see Leo trying to find a... Oh my he's just trying to find an opening, but Mr. Chef playing super aggro with Rob and I working. Know. The thing I'm is, it's working. It. I'm liking it. I like it too, man. We see him just sh shooting yeah. off these gyros, sending me to the ultimate Pokemon, just can't do anything against a toy robot from made by Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... One thing is that Rob actually has some really... That oh, was so amazing. sick! Oh I love that, God. because Mr. Shep throws the gy uh, gyro... Yes, you on can see Leo smile a little bit yeah. at that. He's like, yeah, It was disgusting, because he throws the gyro like on the edge of the stage, and he gets hit by it. And then, like because he was in the prime position for that to combine into the up smash, super smart, super slick. You know he labs that stuff. Yeah. And no, the, no. It's, it's such a smart option to put the gyro on the edge of the platform like that, or on the stage, because it, it deletes some of their options. Like, oh, yeah. I can't use normal get-up. They can't use normal get-up. You can't use jump. They can't use get up attack. And this is the other thing is, for instance, if they do a short hop air dodge back, mm -hmm. they also get hit by the up smash. And the thing is, it, it kind of like baits the opponent into using roll onto the stage. Exactly. And he was already in position for the up smash. He just had to charge it, depending if he used normal get up or whatever. Yeah. He, he could just react to it. Yeah, I mean, at that point, the only thing that uh, you two can do is just wait. Wait for it to go away or jump off the platform and like teleport on or something. Like, he can't yeah. use a normal ledge get up because, like, he, Mr. Chef is baiting it out. Unfortunate start to Leo in that game, but hopefully he can bring this back in game two. Right. He's gonna counter pick to Lilac Cruz and with and a counter pick oh, character. Okay. Oh that God. was the <laughs> slickest shine I have seen. He just like throw that. Immediately up. getting eleven percent. Uh okay, kind of dropping these up tilt follow ups. I feel like Rob doesn't have a lot of great interrupters or combo breakers to uh get out of those up tilt strings and yet uh, he was already kind of dropped it a bit. Mm -hmm. I wonder how experienced Leo actually is in his, uh, with his Fox. I mean, he does, but he has busted down in tournament before. He was playing friendlies earlier today a lot with Fox. He is wanting to pick him up as a secondary or possibly main because Le Leo's been going through a lot of characters. He's originally yeah. a Luigi main. And yeah. now he's been messing with Mewtwo, and now we're just, uh, starting to see this Fox a little bit. And JTail's a little bit and impressed by his Fox. The Fox is working out better than his uh, Mewtwo. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, Mr. Chef still has a pretty significant lead here with a 50% yeah. lead. But it's not like a 14% in either or yeah, it's yeah. Stuff. But the, wait, just one moment. We see Leo. Oh my God, that was amazing! Setting it up with an up oh tilt, sending God. him up to the heavens with an up air, and destroying amazing. him at like 70%. Yeah, no, Mr. Chef. He, he thought that he was going to go for the air dodge read, and so he um, no, he thought he was going to wait, and he goes for that down air, up air comes out too fast, and that is it. We see the stock lead now in um, Leo's in favor. favor. Yeah, Leo yeah. now has the lead. He's going to roll with it here. He's out, He has the advantage. Now Mr. Chef has oh to do the God. approach, and this is why he yeah. did this counter pick with Fox. Shine is working out so well for him. Yo, yeah. oh, there it is again, though. It's such Amazing. a good setup. He's just, and Mr. Chef super quick with it, making sure that he has the you know gyro in hand. You know what else he was doing? He was running towards the ledge, then dropping in and running for the F smash. Because we said before, the only safe option is to wait. But when he runs at that edge, he's basically saying, I'm going to do something. You need to get off this ledge. And Leo fell for it. Yeah, absolutely. So I wonder if Leo is going to be a little more reserved now, whether he will pick up on that. 
I like the okay. use of throwing the gyro upwards yeah. because when you do that, that means Rob can't use the gyro while yeah. it's just sitting there in the air. I think a lot more players need to do that against Rob. Yeah. It's a super smart idea. Also, it's really funny when it comes back down and breaks Rob's combo. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Or, like, you know, it'll do shenanigans. Regardless, it's a good setup and it's a good idea. It's right a good now, way to, it's a good way to we deal with that gyro. But anyway, yeah. We're, se we're seeing a pretty close match here with only 1% deficit. And as I say that, that's we it. see the baby, that's, that's not going to be it. Oh not my enough. God. We saw the sparks because he was such a low percent and such little rage on the left platform of that Cruz. He was not able to get the kill. And now that up air is a little bit stale. So, uh, oh my God. Let's see if Leo can actually run this back. Oh my that god, that was, was an amazing shield grab. Such a great shield Rob grab coming from such Leo. such a huge hurt box that he was still got grabbed. Yeah. Uh, he, that's guy that's up air. There it is again. He, he definitely. that time he went for the air dodge read, but didn't quite get it. Oh my god, great shine. Oh my god, he's up in the air now. How is he going to get back? Okay, he's on ledge. Now we see Leo just trying to get back. Neutral air is going to do it. Oh my god. Mr. Chef takes it. Almost every single stock was from him punishing Legend. Mm -hmm. That's Rob is a character that can really